if you're not racist Corey like the stream. reveals that complex media is blackballing him because of their allegiances to joe budden why would complex have a personal issue with you uh Who because, you because they have alliances with mm. people alliances. that dislike me and i'm not saying the obvious because we don't censor here it's not a joe thing i think it's a joe's team thing mm. what i don't think in any big world, up rg joe oz i'm beyond late on the stream but I must insist you refrain from bunching Miami and with those freaks in LA. Big up, peace sign. Okay, 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 okay. Big up, big up, RNGLP. Big up, RNGLP. Thank you, though, so much. I appreciate you for the super chat. Right. I think I get a lot. I get these kind of comments from people from LA too. People who live in in LA, live in California. Whenever I make these comments where I when I describe LA like the podcast scene in general, it's like no, 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 no. LA is a big place. These guys are not representative of where I'm from. These guys are a very small part of where I'm from. Okay, please. No problem. I apologize. Hands up, okay? Hands up, officer, please. No violence. Thank you, RJ. Appreciate you. RNG, LP, appreciate you. I was going to the complex and saying Black Bowery. I'm not saying that. I'm not dumb. But I think the alliance with people on his team have left us off shit, have left me off this this year. And y'all call me narcissistic and crazy, but I've spoken to people at Market Complex, and I know it's... So that means, I'm not uh, pulling this out of my ass and doing a conspiracy theory. I have spoken to people at Complex that have told me directly, hey. multiple people at separate times that didn't even know I talked to two different people, mm. gave me the same story of why we were left off that media list. Yeah. That's right. On the What? Joe Biden's got enough pull at Complex to get Rory's... What's, it, what's that word called? Emotional Oranges. His group and maybe himself, his own his own album. Actually, Robbie's album is really good. Check it out if you haven't checked it out. I forgot the name of it. Let me just share my Apple Music. It was actually a really decent listen. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe one of the contenders for album of the year for me. Um, I listened to it early in the year. It's called I thought it'd be different. It came out in May. Really fucking decent album. Very, very decent. I thought it was different. I thought it'd be different on fucking Apple Music. But yo, big up Crash, appreciate you. Imagine a Florida man talking shit about LA. <laughs> Thumbs down. I'm not getting involved in in American, you know, interstate fucking politics or beef. I don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? I don't know what's happening. Whoever whoever has the best Addies, whoever has the best ket in every location. Who has actually who has the best who who would have the best ketamine? LA or Miami? This isn't sourcing, by the way, because I don't live there. So don't ban me fucking YouTube. But who, if you actually went to get the best ketamine, where would you get, where would be the best place to get it? LA or Miami? I have a feeling it would be Miami, right? But it might be LA. Because of all the alternative, you know, lifestyle guys. What do you think? If you were in pure, the best ketamine you could get, where would you get it from? LA or Miami? People are saying LA. Ket LA. Ket LA and Miami got better coke. Okay, cool. Because of, of the coast, I'm assuming, right? <laughs> Don Dot is going to hell. Whoever Matthew Perry got it from. <laughs> Story of why we were left off that media list. Yep. That's right. On a recent episode of the Rory and Maul podcast, Rory decided to address how he was left off of the top albums list by Complex and the top hip-hop media personalities. Now, this was a fascinating excursion into kind of the politics that happened in all types of industries, especially media. Overall, Rory was really open about how he has heard from people at Complex that he is being blackballed because of Complex Media's allegiances to Joe Budden. That is so redacted. If that's true... That is so fucking redacted, isn't it? Yo, big up Crash. This is my fourth $2 super chat love. <laughs> big up Crash. Appreciate it, brother. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for the super chat, bro. But imagine how redacted this must be, that there's beef in podcasting that would then trickle down into your actual artistry and business and stop you from getting certain looks. Because as, as lame and as G-A-Y as those complex lists are, they're probably really important if you're an up-and-coming artist, right? If you're somebody that's independent, if you're somebody that's grinding, having those type of looks where you get placed on those type of lists can actually do a lot for you. 
it can maybe put you you know in different conversations it can give you a different type of exposure it's a whole different ball game when you get put on those type of lists so i can see why it's a big deal when you don't but imagine the reason why you don't get put on those lists is because of some podcast beef that you've had and it's not even beef it's like a real disagreement between friends right because the accusation was that joe was stealing money from them joe was hiding the you know not letting them look at the books joe wasn't seeing them as equal partners joe didn't respect their contribution to the pod joe forwarded them as a disposable it's kind of a really personal beef like you know disagreement falling out a really kind of emotional one as well not something you know what i mean and it's like it trickles out into your actual artistry your job your career really awful and i have to be clear as rory was pretty clear himself that he's not saying that joe budden was blackballing him he's saying that complex's involvement with joe budden was the reason that they may have decided to leave him off the list and also decided to leave Rory and Maul off the top hip-hop media personalities list. Now, I know a lot of people might be like, oh, Rory and Maul suck. They're boring. They're terrible people. They're podcasts. Who cares? But I actually went and looked back at the list for the hip-hop media personalities. And I have to say, all in all, Rory kind of seems right. As Jazzy, I know she's a kid, but exactly. eh, should she really be on the list? Exactly. And also someone like Nadeska. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. Nadeska's kind of fallen off the face of the earth to Super. me. I really don't hear much about her. For me, Rory and Maul are way more prominent as far as hip-hop media go. This leaves a lot of interesting points to discover. For example, who at Joe Budden's camp could be indirectly or directly responsible for Rory and Maul being blackballed on the complex media list? Could it be Ian? I mean, Ian is the top of the top at the Joe Budden Network. He's Joe Budden's manager and business partner. Could it be Keeb? I'm not too familiar with Keeb, but I do think he holds some type of high position at the Joe Budden Network. I think he's a little bit involved in all aspects of the JBN. Like, it's not going to be Flip. It's not going to be Ish, Ice, or M4. I don't think they're that high level as far as the business is concerned. But this is very fascinating. And Rory seemed genuinely upset. It seemed like the album list thing really made him upset. I'm this is probably reasons why everyone plays nice, isn't it? This explains it. This explains why people don't really let their nuts hang. Why people aren't really unfiltered. Why people don't really let you know their real opinions. Why people play nice. Because if you don't, and you actually do let your nuts hang you are unfiltered, it actually can negatively affect you in media in some aspects. It's unfortunate that it does, but it can, especially if you want media recognition. Obviously, the good thing about nowadays with the internet, you don't need that look from Complex, right? But if you want it, if you want media, media um, what's that thing called? Media um, acknowledgement, you kind of have to play the game. That's the unfortunate thing. You kind of have to play the game. You kind of have to jump through the hoops um, and play nice. If not, they're going to count you out. They're going to purposely scrub you out and they're going to make it seem like you're not a big deal when you are. So that's why maybe you shouldn't play the game. You know, if you, if you find a way to operate outside of the system, you just have to keep it that way. But you can't expect them to acknowledge you when you play out of the, you know, you play out of their, their rules, play out of their scene. It kind of is what it is. I mean, I think Rory has been putting his dedication and life into that album and would like to have been recognized as it does increase the visibility of the album. There's also something interesting. They do this episode where they say, oh, before Danny Shiggs and all of you clip it, don't try to say that there, this is a conspiracy. Danny, uh, Danny, Danny Rory Shiggs, and everybody, Rory. in no way... Am I saying that Joe went and told Complex to leave us off it or leave my album off? Don't. <laughs> Theory's done. I'll, I'll sorry. Sorry. You can't, you can't do your. Uh, from the Rory and no, Maul yeah, You can't do your theory anymore. I'm not saying that. And he did not do that. <laughs> I'm saying there's alliances behind the scenes. <laughs> Clip it, Danny. <laughs> You did that it. have done that. So sorry to ruin your conspiracy theory video that you were about to do. Or you read it like, look, and bringing up the name. I'm actually saying the opposite. So mm -hmm. sorry to ruin that for you guys. I'm sorry, but even with that type of framing, it's still a conspiracy. As Rory is saying that complex media is blackballing him, 
Like, even if Joe didn't directly order it, it's still fascinating and a discussion that we have to unpack. Who ordered the cold red? Who did it to Rory and Maul? That's one thing we have to find out. But let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, did um, Rory and Maul deserve to... I think it's possibly true. That, again, it sounded weird when he first said it, but that's there's some truth to that. I could believe in there being... And again, I, I guess it's... It's less to do with, I think it's probably less to do with Joe's team telling Complex to leave Rory and Moore off of their list and more to do with Complex wanting to be in good favour with Joe Budden and and leaving them off their list. Do you know what I mean? It's that kind of thing. It's that kind of unspoken, hey, I know you guys have beef with this person. I'm going to purposely not acknowledge them and not give them credit, not put them on this list so that you know you know that I've got your back type of thing I think that's possible but it's horrible either way it's fucking horrible to be fair that those type of things play a role in people not being recognised or being acknowledged like again I don't really have a I don't really get, give a shit about prize or accolades and shit the only thing that I would ever want to win is the fucking Turner Prize or something right for art but in terms of anything else you know, I don't really give a fuck. Even if I made music, I wouldn't care about Grammys and shit. It's more so about making music that touches people, having a fan base that loves what you do, being able to do shows and stuff. That should be the real marker of success or that should be something that actually gives you some level of... Um, that should be some grat gratification that gives you some level of purpose or something. The fact that you're able to have art that people care about, it's able to... People that resonate with it, it takes you around the world. It supports you. Supports your family. It, it, you know, it helps people through tough, tough times and shit. That should be what you should be in it for, mostly. But I understand if you do like those awards, those accolades, accolades from these platforms, it can be quite hurtful when you find out they're not acknowledging you because of other stuff, you know, and not because of the quality of the work that you're putting out. That's probably a hard pill to swallow, isn't it? But I guess that's the nature of the game of the industry. Once you're in it, you have to play it. So. Maybe they should have played nice with Joe. Who knows? Maybe that's why. Who knows?